Hello friends, this is Ganesh. Hope the things are going good from your end. And in today's video, I'm going to explain a concept called how to pass uh, multiple values, multiple input values to my OData service URI. So this is very uh, frequently asked questions to me. So how to pass uh, multiple values to my URI. So, um, so today we are going to see uh, whether the design, the OData service is ready to accept multiple values, first point. Second point, if not, what are the ways to achieve? Because it's a common scenario nowadays uh, to pass more than one value to a URI service. So we need some way to achieve it, right? To achieve, to satisfy the business requirement. So what are the ways we have uh, available now to accept the multiple values? So uh, today I'm going to explain maybe two or three different ways to accept it. Probably it may be more. As per my knowledge, these are the ways we can accept multiple values. Okay, so let's get into the system and I'll get into the slide first, then we'll go to the system also. Um, first, let's understand the design of your auditor service project, ACGW, any design, whatever you're doing. So <coughs> whatever design you are doing, excuse me, you are, we have to create an entity, entity type. So entity type in generic, we can say it's a variable or a, um, what do you call a field. Uh, or is a data medium to accept a value from the UI uh, perspective. So that is called entity type. So uh, if it is a variable or a field, it can accept only one value by default. So the answer is, I have a word as a service, can I pass more than one value uh, to my um, entity type? The answer is no. So that is a direct answer. The second part is then how to achieve this is my requirement so we we need some options to achieve it yes we can we have three more options uh, we are going to see one by one how to accept more than one values and how to uh, achieve the business requirement uh, depends on multiple values okay so the options which we are going to see is okay before that uh, this is the uri so uri we are going to uh, pass a value like filter ibln equal to if it is only one key field you don't require it so this is for entity set probably it, it will call the entity set method and uh, you have only key field you didn't mention filter then it automatically goes to entity method okay there are two things right entity and entity set so this uri is going to point out your entity set method only so this is the way. So uh, the answer is it accepts only one value at the one. The options are um, we have an option of like uh, passing more than one value. Uh, here the example which I am uh, uh, chosen as a P1 number passing multiple P1 numbers to the URI. So here I'm going to use a concept called filter and or conditions. Okay. So either this or this or this. But here you mentioned as a or but in one of the signature of your entity set method it captures all the value line by line so the idea is this is this is another option i'm saying this is the first option to achieve the business scenario so for that it will going to store as a line by line so if it is a line by line is very simple for us we can able to uh, use as an internal table content and pass it to the select statement then it will fetch all the values whatever is available in your database it will fetch it okay so those things are going to capture in a signature of your entity set method is it filter select options so this is the internal table which is going which is in the in the uh, design of your ranges or it's like like we have sign option low and high so that is the design of this particular uh, um, internal table so that is going to capture all your values okay but again uh, this is additional work from the ui developer as well they have to concatenate whatever the values they are sending uh, as uh, uh, with the help of or condition in the uri and send back to the backend system so we can gather all the informations like 20 21 and 22 to this internal table so we have to do small abap code to receive it and for a, a type compatible with your select statement then uh, you can just pass it to the select statement then you will get the information so this is one of the way to achieve multiple input values in your auditor service so this is the first step or first option i can say so that is coming under get entity set method okay second option this is purely from ui perspective um, you can ask the developer uh, you can keep the uri in the loop okay so only one uri so it's like vbln equal to uh, like dynamic local variable and suppose at a time they want uh, five different uh, 
um, pure numbers details to be get you can keep it to the URI in the loop so I'm not talking about the performance perspective on all I'm talking about the options okay so if it is very less two or three times uh, we are getting performance is not it's not a, a big deal very very limited amount of data only available in the back end this is also one of the option we can ask the UI person to keep our URI into a loop then get the information so whatever you want okay I'm not sure about the syntax and all also simply mention loop and open and close parenthesis okay this is option number two and the very effective option is we can go with the binary okay so we have an option in orator servers we have seen as well uh, about the binary concept using a binary uh, you can able to send multiple URIs in one time okay so more than one get statement the syntax could be a little different but just in reference I'm saying here so using get method using the same entity set with multiple with the different PO numbers okay but it's one shot we have they have to send to the back end and they will get the information in uh, same like in, in the same uh, response they will get all the information of you the PO okay so this is coming under the method called get entity method because it's going to be the key field so get entity method and all the values are going to be stored in the signature called IT key tab okay so this is another one so why this is little uh, performance wise or it's achievable as uh, the first option they have to concordate manually so if it is a 15 or a 20 POs it's not advisable to do it and the second one again it is a loop so every time you have to come and hit the database means backend and if it is a binary it's a it's a feasible option so it will one shot it will handle multiple URIs and get the relevant information from the backend and send back to the UI perspective UI application okay so clear so these are the options which we have to achieve the multiple input values to your URI clear so I hope uh, you have some idea or some clarity about whether can I able to send a multiple values to a entity type okay so that's it so let's get into the system okay so this is my system let's create a simple project CGI inputs multiple inputs and local object so here the data model which is going to be a simple one um, creates entity type as purchase orders okay you can say you are orders okay i need entity set continue done and go to properties I'm going to have three fields uh, one is EBELN it's a key field it's going to be a 10 characters max so these are very really, uh, easy to understand for you uh, it's going to be a PO I have a number and this is EBELN then okay and then create books to be the four character and it's a company code books and final one is category BSERT it's I think document type I believe BSERT that is also it's going to be four and this is Type B S C R T. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I have entity set. So that's it. This is a very uh, simple one. And let me um, generate it. Then it's create a DPC, MPC, everything. Local object. Then I'm going to create the service, and I'm going to call. Um, with a different uh, perspective to pass the multiple input values okay so before that let me go to dpc at least uh, i'll just do the redefinition part of get entity and get entity set method uh, to have to see the um, signatures how it's getting the values or getting inside the method so let me do the redefinition of entity set this is going to be used for if you use a filter option with or condition and get entity is going to be for the uh, binary option so if you use binary and multiple 
URIs, then these two, this entity type is going to be used. So I don't want much much over here. And delete it. This is for entity, so entity is not required. So we know how how it's getting created capture the value so if you want i will show you also and this is going to be entity set breakpoint okay activate it so activate both methods it's done so now create a server see 93 And execute. So these are uh, like common steps. It's very simple for you. Add the servers, uh, local, and this is going to be ZGI star. Yeah, this is the one. Add the servers, local object, continue. We have a breakpoint entity set. So keep the session breakpoint. Then go here. Is created. Yes, loaded successfully. So now I'm going to execute it. Let's see how it's capture the values inside the get entity set method. Okay, I'm going to use filter and or option. So here ZGI inputs. Yes, gateway. Okay, so my entity set what are the entity set and it's going to be the uh, question dollar filter equals EBELN equal um, I need the values well these are the values which is available in my rental system so let me copy that equals this or ebeln equal 21 or ebeln equal 22 okay so i think i didn't do any mistakes over here let's see and execute so get http and execute good but it's not stopped and the get entity set method so no records because i didn't return anything to the er entity set so why sometimes you also uh, face this issue that even even you can see the set the breakpoint session is not going to stop because you need to clear the catch and refresh the um, metadata and everything you have to do so same thing has happened here so don't worry we don't want to spend much time on it I'll let me start write the code so if it is a filter okay so option one right so option one if it is a filter with or condition so where is going to capture it's going to capture in one of your parameter called if it filter select options how is going to capture just double click save it yes it has two parameters one is property i believe another one is select options so that is actually an internal table okay so let's get into that uh, structure here yeah, one is property another one is select option this is going to be an internal table so just double click you can see the data here it's a table type actually internal table, table type so again get into that so it will capture the value with sign option low and high so you you mentioned like abelian equal to uh, p1 number or abelian equal to another p1 number or abelian equal to third p1 number then it's going to capture as include equal and low so it's going to capture everything in the low parameter so one by one line by line okay so that is the way it captured so now i'm going to get this to my internal table to get the data from the database to, uh, table okay let's see how to do that so for that i need mine first so this is going to be a range kind of options so this is one of the way which i'm writing the code you can write uh, we need the data to be captured and get it 
the particular information from the database table. So write your own ABAP code. Okay, so that also works. So here what I'm going to do is let me add a range here for EBPLN type range of what is the syntax here yeah, type range of EBELN. So it captures it it uh, create this data medium as sign option low and high. Okay, so that's it. And now what I have to do is I need to read it very simple code no validation and all so you have to make sure proper validation if you st start writing the code in your uh, project or a development okay so here i'm going to read the data from it filter what is the name it filter select options IT filter select options. So I might aware it has at least one data. So I'm going to use the concept called index. Okay. So otherwise you have to do the basic validation. If it is not initial, then do that. So please make sure all the basic validations are in place. If you start working with any project on this read table into data, I need a work area first. So let me go smaller one filter. Okay. Index one. So if size bar C zero, so it's going to the first two parameters. What are the two parameters? One is property. Another one is an internal table. Select options are coming in my work area. W underscore filter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, capture that particular internal table. So with the help of another medium. So this is going to be IT. I can say values or filter values. Okay. Let's go with little more. Okay, filter values is nothing but it's coming under filter control space bar select option. Okay, that's it. So now what happens? All the values uh, with sign option low and high are captured in my IT filter values. Okay, so this is enough, but it is not enough to pass information to a select statement. So I need to move this to my ranges. Okay. Um, so move corresponding filter values to I believe okay let's let's see that one I have some other idea we'll see well whether that will work or not okay we are done and uh, we need to write the code select ablen and books bsert from ekko into table at so we can directly mention our uh, export parameter variable ER entity set because the structure is same. This also has only three fields, whatever I have mentioned here. So I'm going to mention the same here. ET entity set. So where Abelin in range of Abelin. Okay. Let's see uh, if I did any mistake or things are good. Okay, EVN is unknown. Where it is? Okay, I give me a minute. Okay, everything is fine. Unknown column name. Sometimes ECC work differently. It, it sometimes it won't take the new syntax. So that's what I tried. Okay, it's a spelling mistake. Okay, I think we are good. Back to order. Let me try. Sometimes the breakpoint session is not working. So let me try with a session breakpoint. If it works, it's well and good. If not, at least we are able to see the final output from the service. Now here. input gateway client entity set uh, 
okay so here i can say question dollar filter equal ebeln equal so equal eq i need a value p1 number or ebeln equal excuse me or ebeln equal Okay, execute. It says okay, but it's not going to stop in my thing. So here you have uh, 20, 21, 22. Did I change? No. Okay, that's my mistake. So let me change this 21 and this 22. And now execute. It should be three records. Yeah, so 20 and then. Uh, 21 and then 22 okay so this is one of the way to achieve uh, the multiple inputs to our get uri of our auditor servers okay so filter with or and that is going to capture it in the signature parameter called it filter select option then make use of it so once you have the data inside your method just play around and try to achieve whatever you want okay so this is one of the way another way is the ui we have to ask them to keep it in the loop so that i'm not able to show because that is purely uh, ui developer has to do uh, and then third option would be the binary one okay so for the binary uh, i i prefer go with entity because it's a key field it's going to touch the entity only so let me grab uh, or let me add some data over there get entity and here is going to be added in the key tab right so data here also i'm just writing a very simple code without any validation so local variable ebeln equals uh, it key tab so you can see that is one of the parameter of this method it key tab let's say it's actually a, a internal table start with t is a table type so key tab of one and value so this is going to be captured because it's only one key field so in the first index i'm going to get the value what is the value of the ebl and the code is very simple select um ebln then uh, Books, same code P S A R T from E K K O sorry E K K O into so what is the E R entity export parameter? Let's see the structure that is also same. So I can write directly to that particular export parameter. So into at E R E N T I T O entity. Okay, so it should be single. Otherwise, we need select and end select. And here, var condition ebeln is equal to lb table. Okay, so the code is very simple. So now we are. I'm going to call uh, this URI in a binary format with the help of binary option by passing more than one get URI get get method URI. Okay. Um, let's go to the service. So here, first I need an option. Go to URI option and I need a batch. So once you select a batch, you will get the information over here also. That is actually pretty good. And it, it added the content type also, but manually you don't want to do it. Uh, once you select the batch, automatically you will get at least the template you will get. Then just modify it depends on your need. So my thing is uh, here batch starts and there's a get method. It has everything, get post also. So if you see the template, you have the post also, change set also, but we don't want this change set. So let me delete the change set first. I don't want this. Okay. And I don't want this also because I'm going to use only one get URI first and then more than one. Okay. So here get, and this is going to be your uh, entity set method name, entity set name actually. So what is the entity set name? going to be PO or PU or order set I believe let me confirm it 
तो पी यू और ऑर्डर्स सेट ऑर्डर्स सेट सो पी यू और ऑर्डर्स सेट एंड ओनली वन की फील्ड सो एम गोइंग टू गिव द पी यू नंबर डायरेक्टली Okay, so this is a binary with only one get. Let's see how it works. Then I'm going to add more than one get URI, get method in this same URI with the help of batch. So here it is a batch, batch input, and the header also uh, added over here. I'm going to execute it. Executes. So two zero two accepted green. Let's see the output. So if it is written back anything, it's give okay. If the value is not found, you will able to find the information not found. Okay. So just come down. Yes, you have twenty one seventy. Suppose I'm passing twenty and execute. Probably it should not available in the database table. Yes, it shows very clearly not found. Okay. So now I'm going to pass more than one get. So for that I need to copy this, and I'm going to start from here. So before that, it should every new start you need to start with batch. It's it's any name you can give. It's not only batch. It's a user defined name you can give. And here I need to pass the third one. So preferably here the two spaces are required and one more space. Okay. So three different URI I'm passing. Get URI with different PO numbers. Okay. One, two, three. And final close here batch one two three uh, URIs. Let's execute. So expectation is it should return three different PO details as a return value. So here, so first one is twenty one twenty. Good. The second one is also okay. So twenty one twenty one. Yes. And the third one is also okay. And here it's twenty one twenty two. Okay, so this is the uh, feasible solution if you feel to pass more than one uh, PO number. As I mentioned, these are the options which I am aware of it to achieve uh, how to get multiple values from the UI perspective and send back the relevant data from backend to the UI. Okay, so just play around with the filter options and then binary. Um, hopefully you you might achieve whatever actually you are looking for or your business is looking for okay so play around with this and if you have any doubt please let me know thank you so much for your time and see you in the next video bye